Hi everybody, it's Heidi at the library. I wanted to take a minute this morning just to show you all uh, the process that we go through in the library when we get here every morning. Um, just so you can see how we handle the books and um, all the materials that come in and that we send back out to you. So uh, before I get started, I'm going to take a minute and put on some gloves. All right, now that I have my gloves on, I'm going to take a minute to walk around a little bit and give you a tour. These books here we have on our cart are all books that have been sanitized, that have been sitting in the back room. Actually, it's been more like five or six days instead of the um, three days that we indicated. But they have been sitting out in the quarantine and also have been each book item, uh, book on CD and DVD, physically wiped down the entire cover. So, uh, yes, these are ready for staff to shelf when and if they have any time today. And I'm just going to continue walking over here. It looks like staff was pretty busy last night. Or maybe I should say the patrons were pretty busy picking up their items. Because right now, this is all we have on hold for curbside. I'll pop back on later this morning and show you how we've updated that once we get some staff into the library this morning. But now I'm going to walk over to our quarantine room and show you how we work with that. All right, everybody. So here is our quarantine room. And as you can see, we have all the books um, piled on tables from the specific days. So this would have been Monday. And we have yesterday. And then this would have been um, last week, Thursday, that we just got checked in yesterday. And we have last week, Friday and Saturday. So you can sort of see all of these books on the table have been returned to the library, but Due to uh, regulations and advice we were given from the hospital and Promise Community Health, um, they have not been checked in yet. So we do leave all the items sitting on these tables before staff even touches them. Um, and we let, we let them sit here for that long. After that, we do have a special spray that we were given um, by our cleaning crew, actually, and it's supposed to be hospital grade, a disinfectant that we use to wipe down all the books. So I am going to show you sort of how that process goes here in a minute. And we're going to do Friday, because that would give us a good four days. And I have a rag, and I'm spraying it directly on the rag here, because spraying it onto the materials could ruin our book covers, so we do not want to do that, obviously. But I get the good rag good and wet. And then I'm going to take each book and just wipe it down and make sure we really get it nice and clean for the public. And then we put this on our already sanitized um, cart before hauling it away. So as you can imagine, this does take quite a bit of time. And if you brought back books anytime from last Friday to Tuesday, you will probably see on your card that they were not checked in. But have no fear, we are not charging overdue fi fines and have extended due dates. So um, once staff gets around to it, we will get these all checked in and shelved and they will be taken off to your card. That was actually a great time to get books too. I don't know if they've ever been this clean, so so nice to see a good and shiny book. All right, so that's sort of the process that we go through. I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me um, clean all of these books, but um, just real wanted to reassure you that yes, they are getting wiped down. They are setting out for three days before we put them back in circulation. So I'm going to pause now for a little bit. And once we have a few more staff in here, I will pop back on and show you the process we go through to actually take reservations in and then um, deliver them to your car. All right, thanks everybody. All right, I'm back. All right, I'm back now with Ruth. She has joined me this morning here at the library. And she is actually working at one of our front desks. And we'll sort of explain um, the process that she's going through. Good morning. As you can see on the computer screen here, there have been 58 reserves placed since we closed last night. So the first thing I'm going to do this morning is go ahead and pull all 58 of those books. After that, I'll also go through our emails to pull any books that were requested via the curbside email address. All right, it looks like we had quite a few requests for easy nonfiction here that Ruth is pulling.
as you can see, she's holding multiple pages of books that we actually do need to find for patrons this morning, which is why we have specified multiple times that we do appreciate it greatly when people call in and give us the specific books they want us to grab instead of just saying, I would like 10 books on cars, eight books on animals, anything age appropriate for seven, seventh graders. Sometimes that makes it a little bit more difficult for us to get done in a timely manner, manner when we're trying to pull this many books. So Ruth now has all of the books that she pulled. And Ruth, why the piles? I see you have four of them. Yep, they are just piles for different people that have requested books. Okay, morning. so that's how we're keeping organized with what families we have. A new family and you see she printed a slip and that slip is basically our code for um, who gets the books what family it is and that's how we alphabetize our cart too so you can see there's little slips of paper sticking out from all the cards I'm not going to zoom in for privacy reasons for our patrons but yes it is all alphabetized right now for um, going out and once finished all of those items according to their families will go on the cart ready to be brought out to our patrons so, yes, that is our process. It keeps us busy every day. Carrie, you can see, is here, too, in the background, and she's going to start working on shelving all of those items. So, in case you think we're sitting here reading books, well, we sort of wish we were, but, no, nope, we are keeping busy, and we're just thrilled that we can um, give this out to you guys as a way to reach out to our community. Thanks.